Hi, my name is Chef Han Song Kim, and today we're gonna make the Korean street food, especially Korean fried chicken. And today, our all supporting by Korean Culture Center New York, it's a really big honor to me. So, let's do that. We have a, here the whole chicken, so we have to cut it up. So we normally use the big knife and then make an egg cut chicken. So with your knife, cut in the rack first, very nicely. You have a beautiful rack, in the same way. So another chicken leg here. There is a two parts, first joint, second joint. We can break. You have a two parts here. And let's do the wing side. It's very easy. It's the neck part, cutting this. Break down one more time. And cut in half the chicken breast part. And then make a three of them. Now what are next? Uh, we're gonna make uh, chicken brine. So it's very easy. We have uh, two cup of water, cold water, half a spoon of sugar, and salt, and bay leaf, peppercorn, seven, eight, ten, two, three of garlic. Just uh, crash a little bit. And then mix together. We have a beautiful brine. And then I'm gonna put my whole chicken here. This is our chicken brine. And then we're gonna keep it at the refrigerator so at least 30 minutes. I'm gonna make two things, a chicken breading and then chicken battering powder. For the battering, use the two cup of the flour, cornstarch, just quarter, one scoop of salt, black pepper, there is one more secret. We have a chicken powder. So one piece of the chicken powder. We're gonna mix cold water together. So we're gonna make a little bit sticky batter. Look at this. This much of a sticky is perfect. So I'm gonna make a breading. We need a two cup of flour. You can make extra, a little bit more. One cup of cornstarch and one scoop of salt black pepper, and we have a turmeric powder mixed together. We have a breading and then battering. So bring your brine chicken and strain your water. I'm gonna use like this. Set at 365 degrees. So first step is battering. Chicken leg, chicken wings, and breast part. Then let's mix all together and then move with chicken breading. Coat flour very consistently. If you have a plastic bag in your home, you can mix and then you can shake together. That's gonna make it sometimes easy. Okay, it's time to fry. I'm gonna fry with uh, this chicken seven minutes first and then take it off. And then we're gonna do the one more fry. We say double frying. That's gonna make it more crispy. In the first one, two minutes, don't shake. It's gonna make it all sticky together. So after one, two minutes, we can shake, basket. And then when you cook in your home, you, can, you don't need to use uh, this uh, fancy fryer. If you have a big pot, you can do that. Now you can see that it's a very yellow, golden color. It's a little shake together. After seven minutes, we have a beautiful golden brown fried chicken here. You should wait 30 seconds and then drain the hot oil and then place your fried chicken. Now I'm gonna fry again left over my chicken. After your seven, eight minute frying, then take uh, one, two minute and the oil drain down. And then we're gonna do the double frying. That's gonna be two minutes, only two minutes. Let's do that. When you get a double frying, that's the most signature part of Korean fried chicken. That's make it more crispy.
Here you are. You have a delicious Korean fried chicken. Next one, I'm gonna make a sweet and spicy, we say yangnyeom chicken. We're gonna make the sauce first. So we're gonna use the gochujang and mix two cup of corn syrup, salt and pepper, and one teaspoon of ketchup, and we have a soy sauce, red pepper powder, gochugaru, strawberry jam, fresh chopped garlic, and then one last thing is sugar, and all mixed together. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit. The so most important part is we're just gonna heat it up and then mix all ingredients together. And bubble is coming up, it's done. So let's bring the bowl and put the chicken, fried chicken, put the sauce. Mix all sauce. And then I'm gonna place your food on the dish. Use the tongue. Look at this. We have a beautiful Korean style sweet and spice fried chicken. Here you are. Uh, I'm gonna make one more complimentary dishes. So when you go to Korean fried chicken shops, you already see can see radish pickle. It's very easy. Cut a little. Use a filler, take it off the outside. You're gonna make a big dice. So make a all same size. Place a bowl. And then I'm gonna make pickling water. Two cup of cold water, pomegranate, put a one cup. And then sugar, also use a one cup. Salt, one teaspoon, black pepper. Vinegar. It's very easy, right? So we're gonna boiling. The pickling water is boiling up. Just turn it off. We're gonna cooling this pickling water and then use later. Once your pickling water is cooling down, then we're gonna mix together. And 24 hour in your refrigerator. Now you have delicious Korean style pickle. Okay, let's make uh, another delicious dish. It's very traditional, authentic Korean. We say dak dong jip bokum. Uh, Americans say stir fry chicken gizzard. Chicken gizzard is part of the chicken stomach. When you get it, please rinse with clean cold water. And then I normally cut it like this. Everything one bite side. Fried chicken is good matching with uh, beer, but this gizzard is really good matching with the uh, soju. And then we have whole garlic and onion. So make a same bite side, onion. We're gonna stir fry all together. Vegetable oil. When oil is heated up, so we're gonna cook 60% uh, this chicken gizzard first. You see the change in color? You should take a three, four minutes. When you cook 60%, drain the water. And keep aside. I'm gonna use this oil again, not everything. And then put your garlic first. This garlic is done. I'm gonna stir fry onion, salt, pepper. Put the chicken gizzard. I'm gonna put a little bit yondu. That's gonna make a more balance. That's me oil. And take it off. Now we have very traditional, authentic Korean chicken gizzard dishes. Dak dong Enjoy.